Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Alicia and I'm back with another DIY video. So in today's video, I'm actually excited because I'm teaching you guys how to make something that I've never made. This is my first time making a custom liquor label. This is actually a Crown Royal liquor label. This is a mini bottle, but I'm going to show you guys how to make the big bottles and the small bottle labels. How to customize these to your liking, whether it's for a graduation, birthday, etc. Super, super cute. Came out really nice. You can't really tell how nice it is on camera but they came out really really nice so like always i took the work out of this for you so just go ahead and head over to my website createyourdreams.com to get my templates once you get there you go into graphics and you go into editable and then go down to where it says liquor bottle labels so i only have crown royal designs right now but i am going to be adding more so definitely keep checking so first i'm going to put the 750 ml label in my cart and i went ahead and selected the png file and went ahead and added to cart then i'm going to go ahead and go back into the liquor labels and go ahead and get the 50 ml which is the mini bottles that i showed you guys in the beginning of this video i'm going to keep it as a png and go ahead and add that to cart as well then i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how easy it is to check out now in case you don't know all of my images are instant download and as soon as you check out you can download them immediately from the website and you also receive it in an email as well so my discount code for my buy one get one free is going to be editable images okay and i'm also going to leave that in my description box as well so you guys can know exactly how to get everything once you put that in the discount code box and click apply it'll activate your buy one get one and as you can see as soon as i check out my download box pops up and then i can go ahead and download my images instantly now i'm going to be showing you guys how to edit these labels using PicMonkey. now you can do canva but me personally i enjoy using PicMonkey, so i'm going to show you guys how to do it using PicMonkey. if you don't know PicMonkey offers a 14 day free trial if you're not already a member but since i have a subscription i'm going to go ahead and log into my account and show you guys how we're going to edit these labels once you log in go ahead and go into it at the top it says create new we're going to go ahead and click into that and once we go into create new we're going to go into where it says print sizes and the print size that we want to find is going to be 11 by eight and a half inch U.S. standard size. That's basically a sheet of paper landscape size, 11 by eight and a half inch, which is perfect for our Crown Royal bottled labels. So here it is over here. I'm going to go ahead and click that 11 by eight and a half inch. And it's going to open up to a blank sheet of paper that measures 11 by eight and a half inch. Perfect. Once that opens up, there is... A menu on the top that says add image and we're going to go ahead and add all of our images so I'm going to add of course our crown royal templates I'm going to do the 750 ml the big bottle labels on camera once I do the big bottle labels you'll know on your own how to do the small bottle labels but I went ahead and added that and then I click it one time and once you click your image once it pops over into the center of your black sheet of paper and there is no resizing required for my images I also went ahead and added the picture of my graduate the logo of her school and then i got this free congratulations sign from my website i'm going to put a link down below for that as well those are in the freebie section of, of my site so it's absolutely free i went ahead and clicked crop because i only want to use the gold congratulations i'm going to go ahead and size it and then once i size it i'm going to go ahead and copy and paste and place this in every single label so i'm going to left click hit copy left click again and hit paste and a duplicate is going to pop up or basically a copy of it would pop up then i'm going to go ahead and center it and basically put it at the same position as it is in the first label and i'm going to keep on copying and pasting and putting that into every single box super easy guys i took out all the work by already designing the pre-made labels for you so all you have to do is go in and customize this you can put the person's name you can put the person's age if it's a birthday celebration family reunion whatever you need these custom labels for you can go ahead and put whatever you want including a picture in these labels and print it on sticker paper and make your own customized liquor bottles right at home so i'm just going to go ahead and keep on copying and pasting 
Also, if you're doing this on a laptop or a desktop, go ahead and even a tablet, go ahead and hit control C and control V so you don't have to left click, copy and paste every single time. So that's what I'm doing. I'm hitting control C and control V to make my copies. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and go into text and I'm going to hit add text and I'm going to add the graduate's name. The font I'm going to be using is called yellow tail and I'm going to head and just keep it at a purple because her school colors are like purple and yellow or I guess you could say purple or golds or purple and yellow. So I went ahead and added her name and I'm going to go ahead and go to shadows and outlines and I'm going to go ahead and to where it says outline and make it a white outline. Then I'm going to go ahead to where it says drop shadow at the top of that and go ahead and add a shadow around her name to make it stand out even more. Then I'm going to scale the shadow a bit to make it stand out even more to make it a little bit more thick of a thicker shadow around her name because of course you want the graduates or the person's you know name to pop on the label you know so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and then once I'm finished doing that I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste and put her name into every single label the same way we did with our congratulations and then after I do that I'm gonna go ahead and work on um, her school logo and then work on putting pictures of her into each label so yeah so very simple guys play around with pink Mon pick monkey it took me about a good week when I first started to really figure out pick monkey but it truly is super easy and I truly enjoy it Canva is very easy as well but I'm telling you I love pig monkey so yes now that i've gotten her name in all of the boxes and as you can see while i am putting the name into the boxes some red lines will pop up and with those red lines it helps guide you to put the to center the images or center your your text so i went ahead and added her school logo and i went to where it says remove background it's a picture of a scissor and you click that and it'll remove the background of whatever your image is is, is on so after removing the background i went back into shadows and outlines and added a shadow around the image and then i'm going to go ahead and copy and paste these once again again into every single box now you see how when I'm copying pasting it and when I'm moving the new image to the next um, label you see those red lines that pop up those are to make sure that in every single box your image is identical like your placement is identical to the previous box this helps you make sure that you're centering everything correctly that's one reason why I just love pick monkey because the tools that they have are so very helpful therefore every single label or every single box is going to be completely identical now that I've went ahead and added her school logo I'm gonna go ahead back into our images of what we uploaded and I'm gonna go ahead and add the picture of my graduate so I'm going to click on her picture and once that pops up in the center we're going to go ahead and click that remove background tool as well and remove that background now from the most part from what i've saw that they mostly remove majority of the backgrounds if you are doing these for people to order please require that they send you at least two pictures of what they want on their labels because some pictures the background remove 100 percent and some pictures don't but with her picture it removed the background 100 percent and then after i added her picture i went back into shadows and outlines and then i went ahead and i added a outline to her as well then i went ahead and went down to the bottom of where it says flip horizontal but first I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste because I want to put two images on each label. So I want her images to be facing each other. So when I hit flip horizontal, it flips the other image in the opposite direction. Therefore, she's facing, I mean, she's symmetric basically on both sides of the label. And then I'm going to go ahead and line it up and get it to where I want her images to be. And then we're going to go ahead and copy and paste each image to the rest of our liquor labels. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to come back and show you guys how it looks before I print.
So I went ahead and printed the labels on waterproof sticker paper. I'm going to leave the link down below for those. But yeah, these are how they printed out so beautiful. And I printed them out on my inkjet inkjet printer so yeah so um i didn't do the small labels on camera but it's the same exact way that i do the large labels but because they're smaller um labels a lot a lot more copy and pasting of course is involved but it's the same exact way i just didn't put her pictures on there and at the bottom i went ahead and put class of 2022 and that's the only difference but yeah they came out so cute and i'm gonna go ahead and cut these out by hand if you want to send the images to your um to your Cricut, of course you can do that and cut it out on your cutting machine, but I'm so used to cutting everything out by hand, so that's what I'm going to do. But yeah, these are how nice they came out, guys. I absolutely love them. So yeah, I went ahead and cut them out off camera, and this is how they look once they were all cut out. So I had, when I printed it, I had um, crop the, um, the labels because my customer only needed two big labels and then she needed a bunch of small labels so yeah i only printed out two big labels and 15 small labels so this is how they look cut out and then i'm going to go ahead and show you how to assemble it on one of our mini crown royal bottles so that you guys can see but it's super easy you're basically just is a sticker so you're basically just taking your bottle and you're peeling off you just leave your existing sticker on the bottle because we're just going to cover that up so you're basically going to go ahead and just take off the the backing of the sticker you can use your finger or you can use a clothing pin i'm just going to go ahead and use my finger because it's such a small little label so once you do that just go ahead and place it over the existing label that's already on there and looking at the both labels it looks dead on to the original crown royal bottle labels it came out really really good i'm so happy about this but yeah just go ahead and line it up and center it and make sure that it's positioned correctly before you stick it all the way it doesn't have to be perfect but guys this is super simple you're basically putting the sticker on top of the existing label and just i kind of centered it wrong so i went ahead and lifted it back up and recentered it but yeah this is so simple and if you're doing a party or a get together this would be a really cute party favor or even just to have on the dessert table by your cake and your um cupcakes and things like that it's so cute so yeah look how cute these came out like they're gonna be even nicer on the bigger bottles because the labels are bigger but yeah this is so cute if you guys have a special event and you want to do custom crown royal bottles definitely check this out and get these templates and go ahead and customize them to your liking you don't have to pay anybody to do these guys you can do these all on your own i'm definitely going to start adding some wine bottle labels both mini and large bottles Hennessy labels as many labels as I can I'm gonna go ahead and make those for you guys and add them but yeah this is how it came out and I love it so if you made it to the ending of this video thank you so much I appreciate your love and support go ahead and give me a comment and a thumbs up and definitely subscribe because I'm putting up videos every week but like always guys thank you so much and God bless